Hello, this is Apple iOS Genius, uh, bringing you a video tutorial on how to scan the email on a, your Toshiba copier. This can be any of the Toshiba copiers of the 300 series, 200, 400, 500, 600, all the way up to their 6000 series, which are basically for enterprise use. So we're going to go ahead and open this app here that I have created. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, this is your scanner copier. You can actually do it on the flatbed itself, or you can do it through the ADF on top if you have multiple additional pages as well. So we're going to go ahead and continue to the next. And then to continue on the next, we're going to go ahead here as we have listed, there's a book in here that is circulizing, meaning basically this is where you're going to scan your document. So you can just go ahead and click this. And then once you're about to ready to go ahead and scan your documents, either in the flatbed or on the ADF scanner, you want to go ahead and select on scan. Now this screen may look different for you. Everyone is different because uh, this is an additional arm that goes on top of the copier itself and extends out over to the ADF. Some actually have the actual LCD display on the actual panel of the copier itself. So in set, it would be uh, near to the bottom, which is right here in this area where the three little uh, tabs are. So here, as you can see, is a scan feature. There's an arm that goes over, and some actually appear right here on the side. So we're going to go ahead and continue by hitting this. You want to go ahead and scan whichever the scan button is located at, either above or on the panel, uh, even though they're both panels. Uh, once you hit scan, you want to go ahead and select on email. This is the e feature we're going to use internally to the company and, uh, you know, best way to send it out uh, to yourself if you need to scan some documents or even to other people if they are listed in your address book. So once you hit email, you want to go to the to section here. You can also do the CC and blind carbon copy if you like. You can also change uh, and select a subject if you want to. By default, it's going to say scan from, and then it'll have the scan from name. It'll be like MFP, uh, which is basically the default name on the actual copier. Uh, and then you want to put a body of text message, which is going to be quite long because you got to hit each one of these buttons, like two, three, has A, B, C, D, E, F. You have to hit it a few times. So technically, the easiest and best way to do this is just make sure you just hit two like we hit here, and then this pops up. This is basically the address book in here, and you want to go ahead and select on the address book that you want it. Uh, so like we'll just say Smith John is the first one. Uh, if your name is not listed, feel free to select over here where it says 1 on 375. It would actually be maybe, maybe 100, 200, depending on how many are in your contact list. So you want to go ahead and select on this arrow here going down until you can find your name. You can also do a search and do a keyword search basically by just your first name and it should self-populate. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. We're gonna go ahead and select on John Smith. It is highlighted. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then we're gonna just go ahead and select on OK. Once you've done that, your name should appear right here at the top, which right here is a different name than what it originally stated. John Smith now turned to Mike Uzzini. So we're gonna go ahead now. Uh, you can hit down the arrow button here uh, one to two pages in case you want additional options or functions. Uh, normally, this is the default you go to. Once the name populates, you just hit OK. But we're going to go to the next page here anyways. And then this is basically it's going to show from which address it's going to come from, uh, which is the copy address. This is nothing related to the school or to the company you work at. This is just a uh, imaginary email that as long as the copier has it, it can be able to send it to you uh, via email. Uh, front name, you can change that as well. Front name is actually uh, the name of the copier itself. So it may be a few letters with numbers and so forth. As it's here listed as ES for Studio 5540C. It's the actual copier's model name. Yes, you can change that, but there's really no necessary because you're just wanting to receive the document and then go from there, either edit it or change it from your computer. So you want to go ahead and select OK. Uh, once you're there, uh, your email right here actually for the destination should automatically self appear, whereas here it's not because this is a tutorial that is going through the process. So here where it says destination will be your, uh, the name that's going to be scanning the document to. Uh, also, you can add additional people too when you go back to the to section uh, or blind carbon copy. If you want to send invoices or receipts, you can either put yourself and then put someone else's email as well if they're in your address book. If they are not in your address book, yes, you can technically go ahead and add them manually and go from there. Uh, but we'll go ahead and continue on this point four. So we're just going to hit scan. 
as the document is already on the actual flatbed or already EDF, which right here at this point during the tutorial, it's only on the flatbed. So it's going to do scan one page. We're going to go ahead and hit scan. It changes the number to one to zero. And then now you're done. Uh, if you had multiple documents to do through the ADF, it is so much easier just to do through ADF by twos, tens, twenties, and it will just do it quite easier than instead of you opening the flatbed and doing one by one. Uh, okay, so then and now at this time, you want to go ahead and job finish. Now, in duration of this time, if you are taking your time, <coughs> excuse me, and going through the function and features of scanning, uh, you only have about 15 seconds until it resets to default and it basically changes whatever settings you have. So uh, I would advise for you to make sure that you are ready to go and you wanted to scan this document and scan it to email. You can also scan it to USB, uh, though at, currently at that present time in our copiers it is disabled. Uh, scan to file folder, we don't have this enabled. Uh, it is actually enabled on the copier, but it's uh, on our network uh, environment, we don't have it set up. Uh, there's also e-filing and the web scan too, which we don't have. These are enabled as well on our network. So to continue further, you just basically make sure when you hit job finish, at the very bottom, it would actually show you the job status. So we're going to go here. Here's the job status. So what you're going to see right down here in the black bar area, it's going to say sending email, scanning email, and then it'll say is deleting email or emptying trash. Uh, basically, it's basically confirming with you that it's sending the email. And within matter of moments you will get the email with that attachment. If you do not receive that attachment and you don't get to scan the email to work properly for you, feel free to reach out to your help desk uh, and then they will be able to continue to further do additional training if needed. So we can go ahead and hit job status and if you hit the job status you can see these are the current jobs that are printing, faxing, and scan. But what we want to do is we want to hit the log and to by hitting the log you want to hit like Again, select on the scan feature because you just scanned the email. And this is like a reconfirmation for yourself uh, before you go into your desk and make sure if it was scanned to your computer or to your email. So once you hit that, it will say it's to scan file name, uh, store to e-filing. Well, here it won't be stored to e-filing. It will be stored to email. Um, and then it will say date, time, how many pages, and if it was okay or not. Uh, this send to file name will be actually be your email address. And the file name, it just provides it of a generic number, which our name or number, which was basically here, scan03. Uh, if it does actually fail, feel free again to reach out to your uh, local help desk and uh, create a ticket, and someone will be gladly to help you out. So this is basically how to do the scan the email functionality on your Toshiba copier. If there's any additional questions or features of functionality and how to use your Toshiba copier, feel free to uh, reach out to uh, Apple at iOS Genius on YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to put comments at the very bottom and subscribe for any other future videos of Toshiba's iOS or Apple products that are coming out in the year 2014. Thanks. Well, have a good day now.